Hi everyone, welcome to an R2 Great Battles video. This time we're going to do something different, just a bit of fun. Uh, Alfie West had a bit of a chinwag in the bar and he reckons he can take some World War 2 aircraft out with some World War 1 machinery. So here we are in the Bristol up against four BF 109s. There are um, two Bristols up and two SE5s. Um, it's getting a bit difficult at the moment. Um, their speed makes them, yeah, almost impossible. You just gotta wait for them to make their pass on you and try and get your guns in the way. One of the options I'm thinking about is just flying around and using Sebastian on the tail gunner to uh, become a gun platform and just see if he can finish them off. Um, but yeah, the 109s are proving. Probably a bit too much. Oh, 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 yeah, we're just slow and cumbersome. As one goes whipping by, Alfie's wager is not looking very good. Got another one coming in, have we? That is so quick. There's not much we can do. There's not much we can do. I've got the Bristol because we've got the more the most firepower on here, and she's quite a sturdy old crate as well. Come on, Sebastian, get to your station. Oh, we've got one over there. Oh, Sebastian. What are you, what are you seeing, boy? Okay, if we just take it easy, maybe he can finish him off with the... Oh, even score a hit would be nice at this point. So I brought this to you in R2 Great Battles. Obviously, we've got the, uh, the Flying Circus module as well as um, all the others which I have. Another 109 coming down here. Just getting the Lewis guns going. Sebastian, finish him off. Nope, nope. Got the wings banked too much. Okay. This is not going well. We've got a 109 coming down on one of our buddies. Oh! And pure Alfie West style, we have true to form. 109 flying in past us. I'm getting a little bit of nostalgia here. I'm getting flashes of uh, Indiana Jones and Moss Crusade. <laughs> but. <laughs> Okay, aircraft is quite badly damaged now. She's handling quite atrociously. Um, I don't really have a pitch control. I just use the throttle to get the nose up and pull the throttle back to get the nose down. Oh, more flashes. Protect our rear. Yeah. We are struggling now. I think they finished off the other biplanes, so it's just us. We've got four BF 109s descending on us, and there's not a lot we can do. Ooh, uh, throttling up to try and get the nose up. But then there's not much I can do. I've just got to bank left and right just to try and lose a bit of altitude or a bit of pitch. Try and hold it steady for Sebastian. Okay. Oh, 
The 109 seemed to have uh, bugged out, so um, we're now trying to bring the stricken aircraft back to base. Um, lots of pops and bangs going on behind me. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe one of the... Ooh, hang on. Bit of throttle, bit of throttle, bit of throttle. Get that nose up. What's firing at us? Is the 109 still around here, perhaps? I don't see anything, even with my um, wounded eyes. Whoa, oh, okay. oh, hello, okay, it's that train. That train is firing at us. Lots of anti-aircraft fire coming off that train. Let's um, steer away from that then. Okay, coming down to the airfield now, um, I'm just going to have to let it drop and then use the power to adjust the pitch. This is going to be a rough landing, <laughs> just so you know. To get the nose up, I'm going to have to power up. And that's going to speed us up, of course. Oof. Okay, I think we just hit the prop. Okay, hang in there, Sebastian. We're down. Right, let's see if we can mix this up a little bit. I think the, the premise is good. I think we just need something a little bigger and a little slower to have a shot at. So let's um, rethink this. And we'll come back. This time, we're still in the Bristol, but we are up against some Messerschmitt 110s. Now, these will be a little bit slower. And hopefully, we can get on... If not level terms, we can uh, see if we can take one of these down. Right, we're coming in. Oh, we got her streaming. We got her streaming. Of course, got to be careful of their tail gunner. Again, they are much quicker than us. Trying to hold us steady as we're climbing. Opening up. That opening up actually, actually just rocks the aircraft. It makes it a little bit unstable. And we're also stalling now. I think we're going to... Similar to the 109s, we're going to have to wait till they make their passes. So when they sort of turn around and come back at us, that's when we just got to be brave, stick our nose in there, and see if we can't uh, cause a bit of damage. I'm a little bit worried that we just don't have the firepower to make any significant uh, gains against the uh, the engines or the uh, the aircraft themselves. Are we going to have enough firepower to actually bring them down? We should do if we get. But I'm thinking we're, we're we're waiting for a lucky hit, aren't we? Through the um through the cockpit or fuel line or something like that. Yeah. We're never going to catch them up. We've got to go for it when they're roughly, even if it's a long range shot. Right, he's turning. Just cock the gun. I'm just cocking the guns again to make sure they are all clear, not jammed or anything like that. Right, here he comes. Here he comes. Can we get in front of him? No, I don't think we can. Hang on. Opening up. <laughs> One turns a zipping by. Uh, yeah, we can't obviously live with them. Sebastian. Taking a few hits. 
Sebastian's not exactly a dead eye duck here, so um, yeah. I think we have to have to rely on the forward passes and be brave. Bit of chicken. Get him, Sebastian. Oh. <laughs> he needs to change his drum. Right. Typical. Typical, typical. I got him into a nice, good position there to open up with the Lewises, and uh, he gets the click. Click. Never mind. Happens to the best of us. Right, here we go. The second one is now coming in now. Trying to hold her roughly steady in front. Whoa. I think we've got a couple of hits. It's so hard to keep this uh, aircraft stable when you're firing. When you're trying to trying to go fast, trying to turn to try and keep up with these one tens. It's a huge ask, really. But we're doing we're doing a lot better this time. The amount of damage we've got the the aircraft streaming. This feels doable. comes once more into the breach dear friends oh 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 Alfie West here we go again and he's got us okay those 20 millimeter cannons uh, make short work of our uh, aircraft right Sebastian I don't want to die alongside you so bye <laughs> I don't have a parachute I just jumped uh, Sebastian's just thinking oh, I just might as well um, leave the guns as I found them Oh, and you hear the splat as I hit I hit ground shortly afterwards. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Same scenario. Oh, this time one of the other Bristol's is being brave. Oh yes, 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 yes. Good hits. Okay, we've got the second one coming in. Get him out, Sebastian. Get him. Get him. Oh, we got him streaming as well. we got both of them streaming there. Well done, Sebastian. He's a little bit livelier this time. First one's coming, passing by. Both of them now streaming, which is uh, makes it a lot easier to spot them. We've also got a friendly streaming as well. Um, but again, far too quick, even with engine damage. So we're uh, going to have to wait for them to make their passes. Oh, is he coming in? Okay, here he is. Aye, 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 so close. Just don't seem to be able to make a heavy hit. Lacking a bit of punch. Oh, that was a good attack. Good attack. But still nothing. Just uh, recocking the guns. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Don't seem to be able to get their nose in front. Of 
wonder how much oil these uh, aircraft have and how quickly he'll run out. Oh, hits on the wing, hits on the wing. Get him, Sebastian. Here we go, here we go. Come on, hold us steady. No. Rubbish. Right, guns are out. Cock that one. Second one. Oh, place the drum. There he is. How are we doing? What's he doing? Okay, drum back on. Guns are good. Guns are good. Right, wait for him to make another pass. Is he coming in? He's turning. Here he comes. Here's Johnny. Oh, we're all over the place. Oh, 20 millimeters opening up. Wait, the second one's down there. Get him, get him, Sebastian. Get him, get him. Maybe I could ram him with my um, static landing gear. Right, just to get some shots away. Come on, let's get on his tail. Yeah, I know he's got a tail gunner, but... Oh, yeah, he's got a tail gunner, alright. Taking some damage. Well, the aircraft isn't handling well. Whoa, we're all over the shop. We're all over the shop. Okay, damage is quite substantial. Um, we're now trying to dive. Hopefully not trying to rip the ring off. To get below that aircraft that's just gone past us and hopefully Sebastian can get under him and uh, finish him off like the German night bombers uh, night fighters used to do to the uh, ooh, the night bombers that wing is not holding on for very long a lot of speed holes in there trying to lighten the aircraft clearly oh Sebastian ah and the second 110 gets us again So, let's switch it from the other side. Here we are in a Hawker Hurricane, and we're up against some DR, Fokker DR1s, uh, four of them to be precise, and we're going to see if it's as easy and simple as we think it should be. Okay, one pass, one kill. Okay, so far so good. You would expect on paper the Hurricane to absolutely, you know, smash these in seconds, but um, they are incredibly maneuverable, and I can see some tracers whizzing past the cockpit as well. They're getting some shots away. And they can outturn me quite easily, so... We're going to try and get a bit of distance from them and come back. They're like angry bees. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, visibility is is a problem when they are below us on the yeah on the uh, the patchwork of the uh, landscape. They are very difficult to spot. Oh, more fire coming in. And they can, they can just, because they're so slow. Because they're so slow, it's just difficult to be able to um, get a shot away. The closing speed is just <laughs> so greater than you expect. And I can't bring the nose around to the aircraft, and I won't be able to get up. No, not quite.
Uh, a bit of traffic by the sounds of it. <laughs> or we just cut the engine. Yeah. Okay, we need to be a, we need to get a bit of distance and then come back. Oh, you got two coming in. Yeah, it is trickier than you think, actually. So I think the premise of a World War One aircraft shooting down a World War Two aircraft is uh, entirely plausible, with a bit of practice and um, better gunnery skills and flying skills than I've got. I think it's doable. Oh, look at this! I'm putting a bit of flap in. I've got to slow down. But yeah, it is actually when you've got the advantage. Oh, hello! Somebody coming in. It isn't as easy as you think. Right, let's get away from them and come back. Like angry bees at the moment. They won't leave us alone. Here we go, actually. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nope. Nice, <laughs> just look at the maneuverability of them. They're incredible. Right. Coming back in now. Let's try and lead him. It's difficult to judge. Snagging shot. Snagging hits. Right. If we turn in tight, we'll go for the second one. Bring those up, she's coming in. Comes the other one. Nice. Right, they're suddenly getting some shots in. Oh, good hits that time. Obviously, I'm only using the 303s here. We've got the standard 8 plus 2 per wing, so we've got 12. Which is slightly more than the average Hurricane, but I, I thought we'd keep cannons off, because that would be a bit too cheaty. Maybe, maybe... Well, 303s is a bit cheaty anyway, but why not, eh? Why not? If you've got them. Alright, let's see if we can't finish this one off.
So there we are, with the last aircraft bugging out and landing back at home base. Um, the skies are clear, we're coming back to our base victorious. And I think the the premise that you can shoot down World War II aircraft with World War One equipment is feasible. I think with a bit of practice we might even achieve it. So we'll leave it there. This was just a bit of fun. Don't take this too seriously. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.